All right, pilots, welcome back. Let's talk about topic three, which is oversteering. Okay, so the purpose of oversteering is basically to control the momentum of your ship around a turn. So I have a graphic here that I can show you. So right here, you can see the blue line indicates the flight path of the ship. And these blue arrows facing towards the center indicates the direction of the nose of your ship as you go along the flight path. And then once you're past the apex, you're going to be pointed towards the direction that you want to go, which right here is indicated by this yellow star. Okay, so let me draw what that would look like in the graphic. So let's say we're starting at the start finish. This green path, this green line indicates the flight path. Okay, and I'll draw in blue the orientation of your ship. Okay, so you're right now we're facing in the direction we want to go, but as we're approaching the turn. we're going to orient our ship 90 degrees relative to the direction that we're moving, okay? And what this allows us is it orients our ship in a way so that we can start using our main thrusters to manipulate our flight path into this large parabola. And you, there's gonna be an imaginary center of this parabola and that's where you want to aim your your ship towards okay and then once you're past the apex you can keep pointing yourself in the direction that you want to go or another thing you can do is let's draw this in white if you want to keep the parabola tighter you can keep pointing yourself towards the center and what this will do is this will just tighten up the parabola or the flight path so this is what is called a single axis flat turn basically you're going to be on a single plane as you're going around this first turn so let me demonstrate what that would look like So let's go to the start finish line of the novice track. We're going to go towards the first turn here. And what you want to do is this. Okay. Now I'm using my mains. Basically, you're making a wide sweeping arc, and that's how. That's basically how you how you oversteer around a turn. So there's some some things I want to point out. What I just did. Notice where my crosshair is oriented as I approach the hangar. I want to you want to have your crosshair not <laughs> at the destination you want to go but you want to be way off to the side of it so in this case it's going to be way to the right the way I'm oriented right now because when you have it when you have your crosshair way to the right it allows you to make that wide sweeping turn I'm on a single plane single axis if you were to orient your ship and your nose directly pointed to pointed directly towards the hangar what's gonna happen is going back to the snip tool if you're pointed directly towards the hangar you won't have a wide sweeping turn. 
you're going to have something that looks more like this. You're going to have a much sharper turn. And in this case, you're going to want to flip your ship around and do a turn and burn maneuver. Okay, so let me demonstrate that. So if you're, again, pointing the crosser directly towards the hangar, you won't be able to do the large sweeping turn that I just showed you. So in this case, you basically want to do a turn and burn maneuver. And that's basically what that would look like. Okay, this is a this is a, a valid way to to go around the first turn or, or any turn. It's up to you if, if you prefer the the very sharp turn versus the wide sweeping arc, okay? What I will say is, um, I would definitely get in the, into the habit of, of doing wide sweeping turns. Not only is it uh, generally safer, um, but you will also be able to carry your speed uh, much quicker doing a wide sweeping turn. Whereas for the turn and burn, you're, you're going to be using a lot of your boost to really slow yourself down. Okay, so those are two methods on how to oversteer. Um, another thing to keep in mind is it, it does help tremendously to know where your TVI is while you are oversteering your ship. Okay, so I personally have head tracking and that helps me see where my TVI is. nice and smooth okay if you do not have head tracking that's okay it will be harder to, to see where your TVI is but you might be <laughs> you might be more inclined to do a turn and burn maneuver it's up to you try it both try it both ways but both ways are valid. Okay, that's how you oversteer.